Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about the global coal market and how it's been shifting this November. If you're following energy news, you know there are a lot of changes happening around the world. Some good, some not so great. Let's start with Europe. Coal prices have dropped below $119 per ton recently. Why? Well, higher gas stockpiles, more renewable energy production, and mild weather are all playing a role. With less need for heating and a dip in industrial energy consumption, coal stocks are piling up. But even with all this supply, Germany's energy mix has shifted. They're relying more on coal as renewables take a hit. It's creating a market where coal is available, but the demand isn't quite there and prices are fluctuating. Over in South Africa, things are a bit more complicated. Coal prices are sitting around $110 per ton, but they're facing some supply disruptions. Political unrest in Mozambique and infrastructure problems have slowed down exports. On top of that, production is down by 21% in the first nine months of 2024, and this has caused some instability. South Africa's coal production is expected to stay between 98 and 106 million tons, but they need to improve transport capacity to stabilize things. Now let's talk about China. Coal prices are cooling off, with spot prices dipping to $120 per ton. The mild weather and huge stockpiles are keeping prices low. But as we move into colder months, demand for heating could give prices a little bump. While prices are low now, there's always that chance for volatility if weather patterns or production shifts change unexpectedly. In Indonesia, the coal market is steady, with prices hovering around $94 for higher-grade coal. Demand from India has been slow since their holidays, and China's stockpiles are high, so things aren't moving too fast. This keeps the market relatively stable, but it's not exactly booming. Finally, let's look at Australia. Prices for high CV coal dropped to below $144 per ton. The reason? Europe's energy needs have decreased, and export terminal maintenance in Australia wrapped up. Meanwhile, Japan is diversifying its coal sources to avoid high prices from Australia, buying more from places like Colombia and South Africa. So, what's the takeaway? The coal market is pretty volatile right now. Between supply chain issues, fluctuating demand, and geopolitical factors, prices are sensitive to short-term shifts. As colder weather hits, we might see prices rise a bit, but longer-term growth in renewables could keep things unpredictable. Keep an eye on these shifts. They could affect everything from energy bills to international trade. 